Okay guys, by popular demand, I'm going to try and install Arch Linux as fast as possible on my old UEFI booting X1 Carbon. So I'm going to type here, no, I'm going to type there, record here. Yeah, it's going to work, hopefully. Um, so I'm assuming here that you have a UEFI. To test, you go um, look at the sys firmware, we'll do that. But let's first install a font so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's install a font. Oh, let's first um, get the mirror list going for us. Okay, Pac Man minus S, um, Vim terminus font. Vim is my editor. Not too sure why it's bringing down Xorg. Um, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Set font. Let's just choose that one in the end. Okay, now you can see what I'm typing. Okay, so first things first, let's just quickly see that if we have um, EFI. Yes! Okay, now we need to use G-Disk, not F-Disk, guys. Uh, oh, let's just make sure <clears throat> this is the disk. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know. Proc partitions. SDB being the um, being USB key. So let's uh, G-Disk this thing. Uh, okay, let's O is to clear it. New. Now we need to create um, a 512 megabyte VFAT partition. And <clears throat> EF00, I, I just remember that because I've done it before. Okay, let's create a partition for the, um, for the Linux file system. So if everything has gone dandy, you should see, um, oh, sorry, you should see GPT present. So yes, just to remind you guys that um, when you buy your computer, you don't actually have to create this VFAT partition. It should be there already. Don't create it. I'm just assuming that it's not there for, 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 this, for the purposes of this guide that I'm doing for you quickly. Um, so, and typically in that EFI VFAT partition, there would be files to boot your Windows partition. So to dual boot between Windows partition, all you need to do is resize, resize the, the Windows um, install and enough to have this EXT4 partition, which you can just create there. Don't, don't create that uh, EFI thing. And then you, yeah, then you, you mount the EFI bit. Actually, let's first mount the the main Linux one and we need to create a boot partition there then we ma we mount the EFI um, partition here and then we pack strap so yours should be also the first partition and you mount it there it has all the Windows stuff in there and ready and the Linux and the Windows stuff coexist if I remember correctly and um, it all just works actually um, once you set up the loader configuration you can dual boot between Windows and Linux assuming that you can easily resize the whatever Windows partitions are called nowadays um, look at the Arch Linux guide you will once you've booted into Arch you'll need to do all sorts of like you know network CTL, install WPA supplicant, time date CTL, locale CTL, all that sort of stuff but I'm not going into this I'm just getting you booting into Arch Linux as quickly as possible here I often need to refer to um, the systemd boot page because I Unfortunately, the way that the configurations are done right now, they're not auto-generated, so you have to do it by hand. So you're going to watch me clumsily do it by hand now. Um, yeah, 
Don't use Grub, guys. That's my big tip. Use Boot CTL, part of the System D suite. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Okay, so just to be clear, you can see it got slash mount uh, uh, mounted there, <clears throat> and then the VFAT mount boot. So now we go into the um, mount thing. We go boot CTL uh, install. That looks great. Now we need to go in here. You check that Linux is there. See VM Linux dash Linux. Don't know why it's called that. And now we need to create some loader configurations. Uh, just make sure. Vim, Vim is installed. I need Vim. Otherwise, I can't do anything. Okay, so this sh I don't know why it's filled with these things. These this should all be generated for you one day, but as in January. No, it's February 2017. It's not. Annoyingly. So arch.conf. What does that look like? It looks like title. Arch Linux. Linux VM Linux. Don't make that mistake, otherwise you have to reboot. In it RD V uh, in a RamFS. Make sure this is working, otherwise you get some weird uh, options. Root equals. Okay, this is the annoying bit. Um, I read in um, the output of uh, block ID, I think. So SDA two is the one we want. Yank that, paste that. Yeah, don't need these things. Rewrite according to the wiki, I think. Okay, now let's uh, get out of the ch root, and we should be good to go. I am removing this USB key. Let's have a look. What's going on? Ah, oh, what time? Oh, seven minutes. Oh. I wanted it to be quicker. I wanted it to be quicker. Okay. Enter. I'm rebooted. Sweet. That's how to install Arch Linux, guys. Uh, please give the video a like. And thanks for watching. Woo!